Hey guys, what's up? We have some more information about the cards that Mokuma has, and I would say this, don't get your hopes up. I mean, he has literally been given the worst dragons in the game, if not some of them at the very least. His starter deck consists of one blue eyes white dragon. This is a light dragon level 8 with 3000 attack and 2500 defense, and is a normal monster, probably the only good card that he has. He has one Rude Kaiser, this is an Earth Beast Warrior level 5 with 1800 attack and 1600 defense. No point in this as it requires a sacrifice. He has three Niwatori, this is an Earth Winged Beast level 3 with 900 attack and 800 defense and is a normal monster. He has three Fairy Dragon, this is a Wind Dragon level 4 with 1100 attack and 1200 defense and is a normal monster. He has three Lesser Dragon, this is a Wind Dragon level 4 with 1200 attack and 1000 defense, and it is a normal monster. He has three Wicked Dragon with the Urtzat's head, this is a Wind Dragon level 3 with 900 attack and 900 defense, and is a normal monster. He has three One-Eyed Shield Dragon, this is a Wind Dragon level 3 with 700 attack and 1300 defense, and is a normal monster. He has three blue eyes silver zombie. This is a dark zombie level 3 with 900 attack and 700 defense and is a normal monster. For the Mokuba level up rewards, at level 3 you get Rude Kaiser. At level 4 you get Monster Change Evolution. This is a skill. At level 7 you get Drago Connection. This is a normal spell card that says Reveal one dragon type monster in your hand, add one dragon type monster with the same level from your deck to your hand, then shuffle the revealed monster into the deck. This helps you to replace a monster you don't want for a better one. At level 10 you get Dragunity Tribus, this is a wing, wind winged beast level 1 with 500 attack and 300 defense, and its effect is, when this card is normal or special summoned, you can send one level 3 or lower dragon type monster from your deck to the graveyard. This helps to set up your graveyard. At level 11, you get the Drago Carnation. This is a normal trap card that says, target one of your banished dragon type monsters, add that target to your hand. This is not that useful, as you don't have many means of banishing. At level 13, you get the Heavy Starter skill. At level... 14, you get Drago Connection. At level 16, you get Ruins of the Divine Dragon Lords. This is a continuous spell card that says if a monster is special summoned except from the graveyard, while you control a level 7 or 8 dragon type monster, that face up special summoned monster has its effects negated until the end of this turn, even if this card leaves the field. Once per turn, you can send one other face-up card you control to the graveyard. Special summon one Dragon Lord token, a dragon type light level 1 with 0 attack and 0 defense. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one level 7 or 8 dragon type monster from your hand or face-up from your field to the graveyard, add this card to your hand. This card can prevent some of your opponent's highest monsters from using an effect and enables for token summoning to be used for a tribute summon. At level 18, you get another copy of Drago Carnation. At level 20, you get Draw Sense Light, which uh, enables you, I believe, if you take 1,500 damage, to uh, be able to draw once a light-attributed monster. At level 21, it says you get Dr Draco Connection again. At level 23, you get Ancient Rules. This is a normal spell card that says Special Summon 1 level 5 or higher normal monster from your hand. This is used to bring out a Blue Eyes White Dragon. At level 25, you get Lady of D. This is a Dark Spellcaster level 4 with 1500 attack and 1100 defense. And its effect is your opponent cannot target face up dragon type monsters you control for attacks. If this card on the field would be destroyed by battle or by a card effect, 
you can send one Dragon Type monster from your hand to the graveyard instead. This card is able to protect itself as well as stop your opponent from attacking into your dragon. Level 33 you get Dragonic Guard, this is a Fire Dragon level 4 with 1500 attack and 1800 defense, and its effect is, each time a monster is normal summoned or set, place one Dragonic counter on this card. You can send this face up card to the graveyard to special summon one Dragon type monster from your deck whose level is less than or equal to the number of Dragonic counters on this card. This can help to bring out decent level monsters, and works in response to your opponent's summons as well. At level 35 you get Ancient Rules again, at level 38 you get Lady of D At level 40 you get Guardian of Felgrand, this is a light warrior level 4 with 500 attack and 500 defense, and its effect is, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can equip one level 7 or 8 dragon type monster from your hand or graveyard to this card. This card gains attack and defense equal to half the attack and defense of the monster equipped to it by this effect. You can tribute one monster and this card, then target one level 7 or 8 dragon type monster in your graveyard, special summon it. This card is able to revive a blue eyes white dragon and helps to set up your field nicely. There are also two new skills uh, that have been added to him. These are Kybercorp Bling. This skill, uh, its effect is, can be used each time your life points decrease by 1,800. In the draw phase, instead of doing a normal draw, draw a random prismatic or glossy card. This can be useful if you want to increase your uh, point score, as summoning one of these will increase your total, and that means you're going to get uh, the next level up on your rewards. The other skill is Monster Change Degeneration. This effect is, can be used each time your life points decrease by 1,500. Once per turn, send one monster on your side of the field, except a token, to the graveyard to summon one random monster that can be normal summoned from your deck whose attribute and type are the same and uh, is one level lower than the attributed monster. This lets you bring out a lower level monster, which can be better if it has an effect. However, it's also very specific, and you'd have to be running uh, pretty much a mono-style deck to be uh, able to use this effectively. So, what do you think of Mokuba joining the game permanently? Are the cards true to what he would run? Or would you have liked to see a couple of more powerful cards? And I personally think this is right for what he has. You always hear comments by Seto saying about, you know, he didn't, he had to work for his cards and therefore he would potentially want to pass that kind of um, ideology onto his uh, younger brother. Leave your comments down below, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and as always, thank you for taking the time to watch this video.